avoid fake soda pop. Five things wrong with soda pop. Another one of my soap boxes. Number one is the sugar. We've talked about the sugar. The only thing worse than sugar is aspartame. The diet pop. NutraSweet. Aspartame is wood alcohol. You may not know that. The chemical substance is wood alcohol. They did put an aspartate group on it so they could call it aspartame. They wouldn't have gotten away with it. We wouldn't have all loved it if it had been called wood alcohol aim. But that's what it is, is wood alcohol. The body knows wood alcohol is not good. So it breaks it down into a substance that is called formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a cancer-inducing substance. It is what we put in the cadavers, or they put in cadavers, so we medical students could cut them up. But it is so toxic, the cadaver room, that some of the medical students could not stay in it. They had to get a special cadaver in another room, non-formaldehyde preserved, so that they could learn anatomy. It was that toxic. Well, the body knows formaldehyde is toxic, so it converts it into formic acid. Formic acid is the sting of the fire ant. Anyone been down into the southern states and been eat, bitten by a fire ant? Did you love the experience? No. Well, it's all over your feet. Well, my wife and I were down in Arizona seeing our son and daughter-in-law where they went to school and we left and my wife had one foot on the driveway and one foot on the dirt. You don't have no grass in Arizona. <laughs> it's dirt. What she didn't know is she had the one foot on a fire ant hill. Now, fire ants are very tiny ants. You cannot really see, you can't tell you're standing on the ant hill unless you really look. And neither can you feel them going up your leg. You didn't feel them going up, did you? Did you feel them going up? Not a bit. And then what happened? Every single one of them bit at the same time, didn't they? And you're on fire. Whoa. That is what aspartame breaks down into, is formic acid. That is the sting of the fire ant. So is aspartame a good thing? <laughs> no. There's the acid problem. Phosphate buffer. Phosphorus is added because the carbon dioxide will become carbonic acid if they didn't add a phosphate buffer. Phosphorus won't let that conversion take place. Unfortunately, phosphorus has to be matched in our bodies with calcium. That's what the parathyroid gland does. So if we have to match it one to one with calcium, there's only a little tiny bit of calcium in the blood. So where does it have to pull it from? <laughs> the bone. Osteoporosis in America is a phosphate problem. It has nothing to do with calcium. So the phosphate buffer, someone was telling me the other day that it is now estimated that approximately 40% of our children's diet is coming from pop. And we sell it in our high schools. And then caffeine, it's inflammatory. So now we've talked about three pro-inflammatory substances, sugar, aspartame, and caffeine, pro-inflammatory, it's diuretic, it's addictive, it's a stimulant, that's why people like it, start their day with a little stimulant.